So why don't you cut out your nine pieces of um, pattern pieces. You need to get your four pocket pieces. So you've got your two end pockets, your outside pocket and your inside pocket. Your next step is to get your bias binding. That's your 25mm bias binding. And you need to measure across and cut enough for all of these pockets. I've already done these ones. Once you have... You've got your, out, uh, your end pocket here. It's the line that's longer at the top, so if it's confusing, there's not a pattern on it. If you can fold it, you can see the longer edge is your top edge that needs to be biased down. So if you cut enough where it just overhangs the edge, you need to go to the iron. Fold it in half, but you kind of want one millimetre back. And your setting should be about wool. So you should be doing this for all four poppets. Do them all at the same time. And once you've ironed them all in half, you're going to go to the iron, uh, to the sewing machine. So you need to change your foot. So at school it's a five foot, otherwise you have your edge stitching foot. Um, depending on what your machine is, you might need to move your needle over. So what you're doing is you're getting your bias binding edge with the shorter edge on top, opening it up and putting the fabric edge right into the crease of the bias binding, laying it flat, matching it up along the blade of the foot. On this machine we need to move the needle right over. You're going to stitch three and back stitch. And all you're doing is opening up your bias binding, putting the edge of the fabric into the crease, and placing the blade up against the bias binding and stitching. Should be nice and flat. The trick is only do a little bit at a time. And to get it into that crease. And then when you get to the end, make sure you back stitch.